Hello everyone, and welcome back to Shelby's Creations. Today, I will be showing you all how to make a frog. Now you can do this either on string or on wire. Today, I will be showing you how to do this on wire. So for this project, you will need a hundred and 12, so it usually go 120 to make sure you have extra wire at the end for a string. And you are going to want to tie it up in the middle of it. And you can either put on a keychain or a cube in here. Okay, so we will begin. So for this project, you are going to want 28 dark green beads and 22 light green beads and for this one for the eyes I am using the shiny red beads for the eyes okay so first we are going to want to grab one end of our wire and I want to, want to slide on two dark green beads now, grabbing the other end, I'm going to slide it through, going the opposite direction. You want to make sure it goes through both of them. And we're going to slowly tighten the wire or string up. Like so. Okay, so now that we have our start, we are going to move on, and for this one, we are going to want to put on one of our eyes, one dark green, and the other eye. Just want to slide all that onto one end of our wire. Now, grabbing our other end of our wire, put it through going the opposite direction. You want to make sure it goes through all of them. And we are going to carefully tighten up this wire so the beads will be right beside the ones we have already put on. So it should look something like this. Okay, so now we are going to want to put on four beads. And we are going to want a dark, two light, and another dark green. And we are going to put all this onto our wire. Like so. And again, grabbing the other end and pulling it all through. And four. There we go. And gently, carefully pulling it all through so it meets with the others, like so. So now we are going to want to do the arms. So for the arms, we are only going to want one end of our wire to do one arm. So we are going to want two dark greens and three light greens. So slide on my two dark greens, followed by the three light greens. Now with the same piece of wire, I want to go back through the two dark greens. So it should look something like this. So now a trick I have is I hold my hand here. 
with my other hand so I will pull it along until it reaches up to the frog and I'll make sure that my feet are just right like so. So now we are going to want our other end of our wire to do that exact same thing. So again, two dark greens and three light greens. Sliding around the two dark greens, followed by the three lighter ones. And you can switch up these colors as you feel. I'm going to grab this end of the wire, put it back through the two dark greens. Again, slide it up until it meets up with the body, like so. So now we have our two front paws done. So now let's go on to the body. For the body, we are going to want dark, light, dark, light, and dark. So we're going to want those five on. Dark, light, dark, light, dark, and again, grabbing the other end of our wire, and carefully sliding it all on, and pulling it so it's nice and snug, like so. Okay, and we are going to want to do that two more times. So this will be the first. And then this will be the second. You can still follow along with me if you would like to, but I just thought I'd show you that those are what we're going to do. So, I'm going to put on my dark, light, dark, light, dark. Slide those on, grabbing the other end of the wire, and looping it through all of those beads and pulling it so it's nice and tight. Okay, so look something like this. And again, one more time, we're going to do the exact same thing. Dark, light, dark. Light, dark. Slide those down some, grabbing the other end of our wire. And Looping that in through and pulling it so it's nice and secure. So far your frog should look something like this. So now we are going to do the back legs. So for this we're just going to need one end of our wire for one leg. For this leg you are going to need four dark green beads and three light green beads. Okay, so slide on the four dark. And then the three light. So this part 
gets a little confusing. So we are going to go through the first dark bead you have closest to the light green. Just put a wire through that. And now we're going to skip the next two and we're going to go through the very last dark green. And now we're going to slide it all up and over to the body. And pull nice and tight. And as you'll see here, it will have that nice bend that the froggy uses to jump with. So now we're going to want our other strand of string or wire. And we're going to want four dark green beads and three light green beads. So again, sliding on the four dark greens, then the three light greens, and again, the dark green that's closest to the light green, we're going to slide our wire back through. I want to skip the next two dark greens. We're going to go through the last dark green. Okay, so now we're going to pull it so it's nice and tight and secure with the rest of the body like so and believe it or not we are almost done we have one more row to go for this last row we are going to want a dark two light greens and another dark so on one end of our wire it's going to go dark light light dark grabbing our other end of our wire our other side and we're going to pull it through all four beads we're going to pull it so it's nice and tight and secure okay so now comes time to tie it off so you can either tie off your string or if you're using wire you're going to want to twist it a few times Okay, now we're going to grab our wire cutters. If you're doing this with string, if you have clear nail polish at home, you want to put a coat of clear nail polish on it, then you can cut off the rest of the string after that dries. And there we have our froggy. I hope you guys all enjoyed and I hope you will all come back next time on Enjoying Shelby's Creations. Bye.